This is our book lovers conversation with uh, the authors. Uh, two authors are coming on here, Pat and then Alex. Um, I officially, because I came up with the name, call Pat Lady Dunn. Uh, so Lady Dunn, thank Love you it. so much for uh, being here. You've uh, been tortured by me a number of times, uh, mm -hmm. your own solo podcast show that we did together, yes. but you're, they love your shows here on NA TV Network, uh, the audience does, and uh, we'll get into that another time. Today is a day about how to uh, become an author, how to, uh, well, write a book. Uh, they have a workshop, and that is Pat and Alex, Lady Dunn, uh, so I'm not going to get in the way a lot today, everybody. It's really, uh, they're going to do a lot of explaining, but uh, hold on one second here. <laughs> uh, I got to I gotta run through this, Pat. Uh, what okay. a gnarly studio setup, he says there. Eric, thank you very much. It is kind of actually dirty and everything, but I appreciate the compliment. Uh, we're in the process of doing so many different things on this whole floor uh, that makes uh, our studio here. Uh, so uh, much love to you, Eric. I'm going to try to get to everybody's comments real quick here. Pat, tell everybody a little bit about uh, your book that you have, and then we'll bring Alex in in just a moment. Sure. So I've written three books, but the book that I'm uh, pushing and hoping you all want to buy. You guys is, better buy that book. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a family sto story. It's her father's daughter. My name is T.M. Dunn, and her father's daughter is a, a lovely family father and daughter relationship it just so happens the father is a serial killer mm. uh so it's got a little humor and a little horror but you'll love it so and like i always say if you get it you don't have to read it just buy it and you can also <laughs> of course listen to it because it's on audiobook too but that's her father's daughter and i know uh my friend alex here uh also has written a wonderful book which is family focused, and uh, she'll tell you more about that. That's called Choosing You. And that's a story about how she decided to become a single mother on her own. And uh, a little bit about more about me. So I uh, grew up in the Bronx, traveled the world, and I wanted to give a shout out to all you YouTube listeners from all over the world. Here and we I, go, here we go. Yeah. Shout out, here we go. Uh, yeah, so appreciate you all tuning in. Very good. Very and good. especially to all the book lovers out there. So, That's right. you know, books are, you know, becoming popular more than ever. I don't know if it's because Netflix and a lot of the streaming services are like dropping yeah. a little bit, but yeah. uh, there's all these books out there and books turning into movies. And so you don't want to like not be reading right now. It seems like uh, if you're not, you're not kind of like in the in crowd of the yeah. billions of people that are reading. Uh, so what else it. do you want to know about me? Let's see. Uh, you know what I want to know? I want to know this. Do you use the name Lady Dunn anywhere else other than on NATV Network? This is only for you. <laughs> okay, just I just want to know if I'm special. Okay, all right. Yeah, so, you are very thank special. You, thank you very much. You are too as well. Matter of fact, you know, one of the things is, that makes you special is when you team up with, uh, and I hope she's out there somewhere. Oh, uh, are you out there somewhere, Alex? I know you're out there somewhere. I know you are. As soon as I get my little mouse over here, I can click on it. Uh, so there she is. Oh, right yeah, here. Right here. <laughs> she hey, couldn't hey, say hey. anything because I couldn't move my mouse. My feelings, right, so. my feelings are so exceptionally hurt because you don't have a nickname <laughs> for me. What are you going to call me? I actually <laughs> have one for you, oh, you really? uh, because of your great deal of patience or impatience, whichever one you want to pick. I was going to debut it here on the show, okay. but at my own time and not this <laughs> pressure coming from you. Uh, so Eric is laughing at that. So He's, yeah. And uh, uh, so you do have a name, but uh, now that you out of the bag, I'm still not going to say it. Anyhow, so... Um, Tell us, yeah. who are you? <laughs> so you just appeared all uh, of a sudden. I think somebody was talking about you before you came on. So listen, I'm a writer. I am also a teacher and I'm also a coach, a health coach and, you know, health creativity coach, right? Really using okay. creativity to, to um, both heal and to like live better. And I, I have to say, like when I read um, Marnie, uh, is it Dr. Marnie? Dr. Marnie Hill Fodderell, or just, we can just say uh, Marnie. Marnie. So she, one, one of her, one of the, the chat pieces, she said that writing heals. And, um, and I'm like, yes, it does. It, you know, it's not necessarily. I think it was that one right there. Area. I may have been, it's well, on it the was, screen now, I think. Know, writing has been a way to heal, right? So. That um, hurt. Yeah. And it, so it's not the only thing, but um, people, particularly people who are writing memoirs, it can be um, a healing experience. It doesn't, we don't necessarily consider it the primary 
you know, thing that we're sort of right, having right, right. people experience, but like it, that is absolutely true. I've seen it time and time and time again. So can I just jump in there one second? So hey, it's, your, uh, it's your show. Yes, you guys can do whatever you want. Well, I've known Alex uh, for maybe, well, blank, blank, 30 years. And um, the, she's kind of, yeah, she's not giving herself enough credit. All right. So she is from a town called Porcupine Plains, Saskatchewan, <laughs> Canada, where it is such a small town. And those of you who uh, want to really get the field, there's a show called, which I think is on YouTube as well, Corner Gas. Yes. Anyway, this town is so small. How small is it that you... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on a second. Uh, How small is it? Is it? I'm yes. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, they have town reunions. <laughs> Okay. The whole you have town, town reunions. Yeah. Town reunions. Yeah. What? The yes, the high school class up. was like six people. But anyway, <laughs> but if you grew up <laughs> in Fort Pine Plain, you know how to. So she, she is the Canadian that does it all. She can fix your hair, fix your car, cook your your food and your bread from scratch. She basically hooked up my mic and does all that stuff. And yeah, she's one of the most that. fabulous next to me writing instructors I've ever had the pleasure to work with and know. So I just want to shout that out to Alex. And I do have a joke. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, all, right. all right. So what do you get when a woman from Porcupine Plains and a woman from the Bronx, and that's Porcupine Plains, Canada, for those of you out there in the world, and the Bronx, New York, the United States, go on a pod podcast together. What do you get? Repeat that for us again for, right, for, so the, guy, for the guys that are here. All right. So what do you get when a woman from Porcupine Plains, Canada, and uh -huh. a woman from Bronx, New York, USA, go on a podcast together? What happens, Pat? Lady I Pat, you tell Lady me, Dunn. but No, but you, amazing, get a, you get a lot of fun. And you also <laughs> get a lot of wackiness, but you also will find out. <laughs> how to write a book and why we can help you through that process. All you need when you wake up in the morning, any part of the world you're in is to step in with Pat and Alex, Lady Dunn, and make sure that you are with, you're not going to like the name, Arthur Alex. So I told you you're not going to like the name. She's going to like that. That's not to say. I've come up with a different one. Oh, See? you come up with something. That yeah. I actually, thought of Arthur. You know, she you know, was so big. You I, I got I got I got one that I should have used and I used that one instead because it was well, safer. She's really into all that royalty stuff and oh, is, is she really stuff? Yeah, so you, we should give her something like that. Her new book is all about his fantasy. Should she fantasy be a princess? Should she be a princess then? Uh, more like a queen. If I'm a queen? done, she. But when you say, oh, oh wait, Queen Alexandra. Alex, yes. Perfect. I, I'll I can get on board with that. Thank you, Queen yep. Alexandra. That'll she is just me, she has subjects. just been appointed Queen Alexandra <laughs> yes. as of today, right now. Right. That's who you are officially. <laughs> and so yes, yeah, so and I'm the lady in waiting. So, so <laughs> I have Lady Dunn and Queen Alexandra. <laughs> they are the authors. So uh, make sure you keep an eye out for the podcast uh, coming to your uh, channel. Is coming to your YouTube. Uh, soon, um, you, both of you are uh, going to have your own uh, YouTube channel and your podcast, all the other stuff. Uh, but you right. really want to let people know to become an author can seem like an overwhelming thing when people have a story to tell about their life, whatever that story may be. You've put yourselves out there over a period of time now, how long it's been with your workshop and just being available to others to help them. You've been able to help not just beginners, but people who already have become authors mm -hmm. and started writing to polish it up a little bit and, well, really tap into their creativity. Tell the audience more about what you offer to them, not just from your workshop, but just from your lived and life experience. Well, Alex and I um, have been, well, we've been writing all our life, but we both have books and we've been teaching probably combined uh, over 40 years, uh, you know. More than that. More than that. Yeah. All right. But, okay. We don't have to, but you know, uh, anyway, yeah, we've taken the, uh, the, yeah. See, writing keeps you really young. You're all still right, 39. So, yes, we get it. Yes. Jack Benny, 39. Oh, no, it. no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I want to back off from that because I'm very proud of every year I freaking earned. Ooh. And I am just turned 60. So I want to. So, so Alex and I um, have been teaching for years and uh, we decided, and you know, we both know. 
it is overwhelming to write a book. And we both you know bet. from our own experiences how hard that is. So uh, with Key to the Castle Workshop, which is a wonderful organization that does workshops around the world uh, and also online, we developed a course that we knew that we wished we would have had mm -hmm. in graduate school and through our life because mm -hmm. we will give people the tools and the emotional support to write their book. And here's where the kicker is in 10 months. And it took me 10 years to write my first book. And it doesn't have to be 10 years, but you can't do it alone. Right, Alex? Yeah, that's exactly right. In fact, we, the, you know, we both did our MFA at Sarah Lawrence College. And, you know, we both learned a ton. But the thing about mm -hmm. this, an MFA program, it's really about teaching you how to write, kind of like singularly. And But we decided that we wanted to create a program that will actually get a person to write their book from beginning to end. So everything we do is about making that happen. So so we have one-on-one -on -one meetings with like like a gajillion, like every two weeks, a one-on-one -on -one meeting with one of us or both of mm -hmm. us. We have a class, we have we have classes to teach them and guide them. And um and I think most importantly we have um we have like accountability sessions so that they everybody comes together. They don't talk to each other, but they're there together on Zoom writing. So the way to get your book written, how to write your book, write it. <laughs> Actually, get yeah, to your computer. That's easy, but get you got to write computer. it. But write it and let us help you get to do that. Help yes. us let you make it happen. And you will make it happen. And I got to say that uh, this last class, Alex, is like loving us, if you don't mind me bragging a little bit. <laughs> and I just, you know, you, know, like, you know, it's a little bit of a testimonial. Uh, and I'm just got to share this. Finally, it sounds like uh, I just wrote this for an infomercial. Finally, a way to really get it done, incisive individual coaching. Optional writing oh. alongside kept me moving. Alex and Pat are fun, fabulous, honest, accessible, encouraging team. Highly recommend. And there's I love it. So many more like that that um, our students have have like been amazed. People who have been also have had drafts of books that they just didn't know what mm -hmm. to do with. People who just have had an idea and wanted to write, whether it was fiction or memoir, this story forever and just can't seem to get sit down and do it. People who have been on the, their first chapter for the last three years. Yeah. And in the last 10 months, we, we have a very intimate experience. So we only keep it to 10 people. But the 10 people that we worked with have all written a their first draft of their book and wow. so it, it works and i mean it it's works. not just it works. now it just actually works and there's a lot of madness but it works now um, when it method, when yes. it comes to i'm going to tap into the madness part by the way i love what you just read honestly seriously i want you to read it again i'm sorry everybody audience you know me please read that one more time what you just read uh pat because right, i got some another one that's really good okay finally a way to really get it done it has an explanation point. Incisive individual coaching, optional writing alongside, kept me moving, Alex, kept me moving. Alex and Pat are a fun, fabulous, honest, accessible, encouraging team. Highly recommend, Deborah. And oh, and I got just one more. Before signing up for 10 months to the end, I was floundering with my unfinished manuscript lost on the ocean in a raft, drifting on the tides. This course has provided me with a tiller, rudder, mast, sails, and a sextant to take me to where I needed to go and across the finish line with my novel, with craft. And then she goes on and on. But uh, I think this woman may be a sailor. Well, and she is. But uh, is. Yes, but there it's true. It uh, and they, they both have finished amazing drafts of their books. And now we're working with and we're working with people on revision, the next stages. And um, anyway, we're just really excited to do this. And I got to say, as a writer, and I'm under, I'm sure, excuse me, that Alex may feel the same way. We resent the hell out of everything <laughs> and everyone that gets in the way of us being able to write. Yes. But this, but teaching this, well, teaching uh, yes, and that, teaching yes, specifically this say, class has been the most rewarding next to being able to have time to write that I've ever had, because it's yeah. amazing to be with people and, and, and give them what they need, whether it's t helping them get that voice out of their head that tells them they can't, mm -hmm. whether it's, you know, showing them a way to write dialogue better, all these skills that we do. Uh, I mean, all these things that we do for them 
and to mm -hmm. see it actually come to fruition because these people who take the class, they're serious. Right, well, that, you know, I was, that was exactly the point I was going to make. Right, like I think that's what distinguishes this group, and and you know, and what I think people and who this come class. to join, yeah, this class, and I think people who join this join this class, and we're starting another one in October, October seventh, is is the quality. And you get a special discount if you join on now. If you listen to the show and you join, you will. There get it is. There it is, discount. everybody. Yeah, yeah, special discount, book lovers. Um, is that a quality of seriousness about about these writers about like they have decided this is it i am writing my book and i'm writing it in 10 in 10 months right and so people who come and join the, like the, the everybody is a serious as a serious of mind that this is what they're going to do and we and we get them to the finish line so i think if you're serious about writing your book like just like join us we will get you there and i yeah yeah and i want to tell you that when we say we so there's a lot of wonderful workshops out there um, but what Alex and I do, besides the classes, besides teaching the craft and all of that, is that we meet with you. One week you meet with Alex, the other week you meet with me for one hour each every month. Plus, we're available every day for your questions or anything you need because we are really with you to give you the guidance to help you write the book you want to write. We're not mm -hmm. going to tell you what book we want you to write, like sometimes you may hear in certain mm -hmm. writing workshops. We, t we figure out with you what you want to do, and then we help you do it. And if you change your mind, we help you make that change. But we will get you to where you need to go. You know, I have this. Um, so, how do you write a book? Well, that's what I was going to say. I, I, the, one of the hacks, or one of the, I, one of the sort of things that Pat and I have learned, is, um, is that if you want to write a book, how to write a book means you need to place that task, that job, you have to place that like really high on your to-do list. It has to be like the one of the first things you think about. You have to think about it. You have to be engaged with it day after day after day. And that's how you get it done. Right. And that's part of what we, we ensure you I'm do sorry. by having, right. We have write-ins. We have people meet every day, every sort of weekday to, to be together as they write. So and some days it may only be 10 minutes, but it doesn't matter. It's, it doesn't matter. It's, yeah. the, it's the engagement that counts. So if, if you, if you want, like, if you remember nothing else about this, this podcast and about how to write a book, it's like, you need to be engaged with it every day that doesn't necessarily and, you don't have to write every day like, and I, okay and then i want to yeah and we want to address she's gonna, she's gonna argue with me but go no ahead. i'm not gonna argue i agree and i'm gonna address the excuses that i have given okay. a million times i have i have a family i have job i i have i work too much you mm -hmm. know i have too many hours mm -hmm. all these right, excuses right. that uh you know i broke my life whatever all these excuses that we put in front of ourselves, they're real. Life is real. It's going to hit us in a million ways, whether we know what's yep. coming or not, we got to deal with it. But that's what we've been really good with as well, is we help people with their full-time jobs and families and all the life obligations they have to make this work and to be able to write their book in the 10 months. So we're not talking about people that have nothing else to do. We're talking about people that have full schedules, yes. full lives. We got a lot of, it's funny, a lot of our students... Oh, happy to be lawyers, doctors, uh, and uh, therapists. So I don't know what that says, but you know, whatever <laughs> it is, yeah. But whatever it is that you uh, do in your life, it's you know, what are you waiting for? I mean, yeah, come on, we're right. You what know, are you waiting for. You know, right. you, you, there's not an infinite amount of time in the world. I don't want to yeah. basically say you're going to die tomorrow, but you know, you want to get that book done. Now's the time. And I want to, I want to sort of, I want to toot Pat's horn a little bit here. Like one of the things that she came to maybe I don't know maybe 10 15 even 20 years mm -hmm. ago Pat was this was like just the key um how important uh, accountability is and so she she had um her writers at one point basically they committed to write for 10 minutes every day and they texted her right that's the accountability. and all they had to do wow. text. they just and texted you yeah. like yeah, yeah. They, I'm starting, I'm finishing or whatever. And people wrote like, you, you know, it doesn't seem like much 10 minutes a day, but think about that 10 minutes a day, seven days a week, 10 days, like, but, but after 10 minutes, oh. you have a significant amount of work already. My whole novel day. was written so, in 10 minute increments. My second yeah. novel that I wrote. And, and this, so yeah. getting back to excuses, right? Don't tell me you don't have 10 minutes oh, in wow. any particular day. You could sit yeah. on the toilet and, Right, for 10 minutes. And I've yeah. done that. Yeah. Yes, I can see that. Yes, of course. Well, hopefully you didn't see it, but you know, yeah. Uh, I, well, I'm seeing it with my mind's eye, and believe me, I, I shut it down real quick. Yeah. But oh, what okay. I was going to say is, is, is 10 minutes a day. Go, um, let's, let's, 
Let's oh, do this. Oh, but there's a key to the 10 minutes. Here's the key, though. Okay, go ten, ahead. All right, yes. so the 10 minutes. No, no, this is what, go ahead. That's what I was going to no. talk about. Go ahead. So we, so we start the time. You've got to time yourself. And you don't stop writing or typing or editing or looking back. And you don't see, look at anything you have written until yeah. that timer goes off. And actually, if you follow the whole program, you're not going to read anything that you've written for a while. But in those 10 minutes, there's no, you know, this is not school or mm -hmm. where the teacher's telling you you misspelled the word or none of that counts. It's just right. It's writing nonstop for 10 full minutes. And when and you start the next day. You do not reread every word you wrote the day before. You wow. read the last sentence and keep going. And that's you read your the first. last sentence and, and then you just write, keep yeah. going. And your next sent in, your, in the first sentence of your next 10 minutes the next day is the last sentence. And that's all you read. And I'm not going to give you, there's more to this whole thing. There's a 21 yeah. day. Yeah, well, they need the to take program. the workshop if they want yeah, more. Yeah, but you need to take the work. workshop because, yeah. you know, we're very generous people. And we would give away it yeah, all. Yeah, but you know you but, can't come on oh, here yeah. and give it, give it away. Yeah. No, gotta, of course, because yeah. I got to pay the rent, right? Yeah. Hey. So, oh, by uh, the way, hey, here we go. You you both individually have your own books. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I'm sorry. Hold on one second. I got five voices in my head. It's not what you think. I have to take this earpiece oh, out because I can hear the show live and I'm talking to you. So just. Oh, I wanted to hear what your voice so, in your head so, was saying. Okay. Well, I like could tell you in another yes. story. Yes. Anyhow, so what I was going to say Write is. that out 10 so minutes a day. <laughs> what we're talking about here is uh, the people having, uh, the audience, people having an opportunity to understand part of the process. But you both have books, individual copies that you sell to people from the creativity that you have inside of you. You've written books. Mm -hmm. Everyone must buy the books to keep the workshop alive so that you can keep this podcast going that you're starting. And to so feed everyone, our souls please, and they, yes, they have to have electricity and insurance and all the other things. So buy their book. Tell everyone, Alex, Queen yep. Alex, yes. you go first. Alexandra, Queen Alexandra, right. please tell everyone. I'm just getting started in the morning. My mouth doesn't even work. So please, I'm stumbling on my tongue. It's almost what afternoon to do. for those. Of, those yeah, those stop on bragging. Stop yeah. bragging on okay, the East Coast. Yeah. Right. So, so what I was going to say is, Alex, please tell everyone yes. about your uh, yes. uh, book that you have or, or okay. books. And then in turn, Alex, uh, rather, Lady Dunn, you go next. Man, I should have had coffee first. All right, go ahead, Alex, right, so, Queen Queen yep. Alexandra. So my, my book that's published is a memoir, and it's called Choosing You, and it's about the journey of me deciding to and then having a baby on my own. That baby now is, of course, 20 years old. But um, well. And, um, yeah, so that's a, it's available on Amazon. And, it's a beautiful book. Um, it's still book. in print even after, I don't know. It's, it's, been it's really gut-wrenching, yeah. It's, it's been out how long? It, came, well, we pub it was published in 2008, so it's still in print. But oh, it's actually that. not only in print, it's doing better than ever. So, But it needs to do even better, so buy the book. The name of the book again, and everybody must... What again, Pat? They got to do what with the book? They got to buy the book. Buy and the it, book. And buy <laughs> another <laughs> book to give away. There you go. <laughs> there, you go. <laughs> there you go. Share it with a friend. Yep. There you go. There you go. Share it with a friend. All right, go ahead. The name of the book again, please. Choosing You. Choosing you, and it's got okay. a subhead with like deciding to have a baby on my own. But basically, it's choosing you, Alexandra Soyseth, right there. <laughs> okay, um, and it's really I, very helpful for anybody. And I know there's a lot of people that have ever decided, or even not decided, to to um, have a baby, but also to raise that baby. Yes, um, yeah. It's really it takes you through this emotional journey where you're laughing and crying, and whatever you decide to do, it's really very helpful because it's it's raw and human. And well, that's Alex. All right. So uh, when we when we come back again to do the second show yep. uh, in this series of shows, uh, we're going to need to uh, delve into your book uh, uh, when we do that. Uh, so there's a little teaser for everybody. We're, we're, we'll get into her book. But between now and then, everyone, please make sure you go and get yourself a copy and get your friends a copy. Mm -hmm. Uh, and tell them it's their copy for 2024, for them to read in 2025. Uh, a copy of what again? The name of the book, Queen Alexandra, please. What's the name Choosing of the book? Choosing You. Choosing You, Deciding to Have a Baby on My Own. Okay, that, Choosing yeah. You. Okay, That's and now, Choosing You, Deciding to Have a Baby on My Own. <laughs> Man, this is some, you know what? We're going to, hey, hey, Pat, we're going to have to. we got to hear gonna, that. Hey, hey, we're going we gonna to beat you up, Alex. Where's your radio <laughs> stuff? You've been on radio. You work with radio. Come on. You can yell at the people on the microphone. It'll Okay. I know you got the sultry thing happening, but you, you know, so, so all right. So, um, we're just, Pat and I are just messing with you. All right. So, so you're doing great. You're doing fantastic. Um, we just thrown you into the fire like this. Uh, Pat, please tell everyone about your book. 
So, uh, well, I have two books, Last Stop on the Sixth. You want to get the Kindle version. And my latest book is Her Father's Daughter, a novel. And it's a psychological thriller that you can't find anything better to read for Halloween. So it's That's her true. father's daughter. Yeah, right. It's her mm -hmm. father's daughter. And if you like getting into the heads of very fascinating <laughs> sociopaths, uh, you really, Most really want to read this Most people would say sick book. individuals. Yes, people exactly. are you, of course. Well, yeah. challenge, yes. You okay. and your cult leaders. Yeah, we yes, understand. Yes. Well, that's the next book. I, I will, I, yeah, I, okay, so, so look Alex, at me. I Pat, gave it away. I will, I'm sorry. Yes. Pat, That's I want to talk a little bit about your book. I, I think, you know, it's really hard to talk about our own books. And so what I'm going to say is that, like, so you hear the synopsis. Oh, it's like a serial killer father and a daughter. And like, and, but I'll tell you, it's really, it's like really an emotional book about a relationship between a father and the daughter. And like, yes, he happens to be a serial killer. And he's kind of a unique serial killer. Like, I'm not going to give it away, right? Because I, I think that um, the one thing I will say is like, you know, he comes from a, a long line of serial killers, right? So it's a very, it's, a, it's, it's, it's like unique and suspenseful and, and emotional. And so, um, like I would say, just like run, don't walk, run and get this book. It's a, it's, if you love that kind of thriller sort of like, and deep psychological, like experience of reading, go buy that book. It's a great book. And I want to Thank toss you, this Alex. in. And I, didn't I, that, hey, you know I, and I did not pay her to say that. Anyway. Hey, we need we need to I make would've. sure we clip that out, and that's a running ad right there. Just yeah. like Lady Dunn, what you said is a running ad for Queen Alexandra there. Um, Eric is saying that title spirals endlessly inward. I love it. Uh, mm -hmm. I got to do this real quick here, everybody. So jump in. Uh, I'm going to put some stuff on the screen. Got it. Okay. And uh, ladies, here we go. This is for you. So... Um, um, in the chat, Eric okay, yep, says yep. he's telling us to make sure to for me to keep this public and not make it private or unlisted uh, on YouTube. Okay. I will keep it up as long as I possibly Thank can, you. and then this show will disappear, and you'll be able to find it on their platform uh, once we get their YouTube channel. Uh, where we need it to be a YouTube channel with this podcast. And thank you, Eric. I don't know yeah. you, but you sound like yeah. a great person. Eric is our, is one of our many loyal uh, subscribers, along with uh, Dr. Pepper seventy six. Well, that's and, another uh, thing. I just want to say that people uh, who are listening, if you're not a subscriber to this channel, you <laughs> you're really so sweet. Should, no, well, no, you really should subscribe <laughs> because you get so much from it. There's so many wonderful shows, especially for book lovers, but yes, all especially kinds for book of things. Lovers. Yes, you really, yes. really want to subscribe. And come we, on, we love we love authors here, and thank you for saying that. I'm sorry to step on you there. I'm no, go just ahead. So early in the morning, I just what I do want to do. I do I do want to <laughs> toss this out. I do want to toss this out to you, Pat. You and I jumped on Alex. Did you hear her after that? She's got louder after that. Did you hear her after that? She can be she, very loud. Like she was, like she was <laughs> the other day when we did the pre-show. The pre-show. But today she came off for some reason. I was listening to her going like, who's that lady? She, yeah, and yeah. so today we're going yes. to be talking yes, about yes. the book. I was like, where, the, where did, no, where did, well, where did Alex go? Well, you know, Alex that's just, like disappeared. So that's like the dynamic you get in our class. <laughs> Alex is the, you know. Very, she's a kind. I like how she's doing her hand. Look, Alex, yeah, she's doing yes. her hand. She's the she's, kind, patient. She's I very Alex. soothing. And I'm like right in your face yelling at you. <laughs> you know, so, so whether you like to be yelled at or soothed, you got the right combination here. Yeah, you, you got the butterfly and the bullhorn is what you got. Oh, you got right. the butterfly Absolutely. and the bullhorn. And of bullhorn. course, I'm the butterfly. <laughs> yeah. you yes, and you're humble too. You're very humble. So I was going to say, it. Eric is laughing, it. and Eric in the screen it says, uh, "Thank you for your time and affection. I love stories. I love them." And Eric is uh, loving it. Thank I, I want to. I want to say to everybody, we're going to be going in a little bit because we have a lot to uh, unpack put back together and deliver to you on a consistent basis where you can have, well, these two beautiful ladies walking you through the basics of how to write a book. And well, I'm asking you yeah, remember, to become a part of the workshop and yes. uh, the easiest way for them to become a part of the workshop is what, uh, Pat? Okay. So just go to key to the castle workshop. And yes, many of our workshops are in castles. This one is online. So I guess the castle of, zoom all right key to the cat that didn't work sorry key to the castle workshop.com and right there you could see our workshop which is called 10 to the end that's 10 to the end of your book it's, well the writing of your book because mm -hmm. then the book will have a whole other life so it's key to the castle workshop.com and we have asked the people at key to the castle workshop to leave the, the discount up there 
for those listeners. So if you actually register and you only have until October 1st, we cut it off and there's only a few spots left, but if you register now, you'll get a discount, but you'll get us. And that is priceless. Right. Absolutely priceless. Priceless, without so a doubt. Queen of the Castle Workshop. Yes. Any, uh -huh. Anything she left out there, Queen Alexandria, you'd like to toss in before we end up uh, leaving today's show? Well, you know what? I thought I would do like this sort of like, what did we learn today? <laughs> and so this is, <laughs> this <laughs> is my interpretation. Yeah, yeah. What we recap, learned recap. 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 So what we learned today is that um, if you want to get your book done, how to finish a book, you have to engage with it every day, one way or another. The other piece is that excuses are real, absolutely, but they're not a reason not to write. Excuses are real, life is real, but you can still write. And the final thing we learned today is that I am a butterfly as well as a queen, <laughs> and Pat is a bullhorn as well as a lady. <laughs> I think that about sums it up for us today. Wow, is, that was great. I learned I a lot see of that things today. That was really, I that that very good. Wow. I like that. Yeah, she, that was good. Yes, you are a butterfly. I, you, yes, this is a live show. We just make this up as we go. No, we don't. But yes, we do. Yeah. But what I was going to say is, yeah. thank you for the recap. And what did we learn today? So if you come back to another show, we're going to instruct you. Excuse we me, we'll rephrase that. They are going to when you come back for the other episode Stop episode number messages. two they're gonna back. walk you down you the path back. of how to become an author and uh look for the posting that will be here in the upcoming live streams and uh we're gonna get you moved over to uh, their youtube channel uh once we get everything set up the way it needs to be for you and you could get welcomed over there you can see it over here but more importantly you will be watching it on their channel and you'll be able to get to know them better become a part of this book lovers cult that they're starting for their <laughs> workshop more on cults uh, next time. Your moral cult. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, very good, the lady. <laughs> the lady Dunn and Queen Alexandra will be telling you more about cults uh, when Pat starts to tell you a little bit about our upcoming book. But mainly, they're going to give you some more instructional information that will help you at least get started, but to expand on your creativity and give yourself a, a solid foundation for making a book that others want to put their hands on and open up their wallets to get. You're going to need to take the workshop. And can I ask you to say, see, one little thing. This workshop, we have people from various countries taking it too. So it's wow. open to the world. And I want to thank all of your listeners, all the people here on YouTube that are, they're listening and that are out there. Because as much as I might have my problems sometimes with the whole internet world, the beautiful <laughs> yeah. thing about it is that it brings so much of us together. So thank yes. you, everybody. That's true. Very, very I think good. Eric, very, very Eric good. was asking for the second piece of the instructions. It's key to the castle workshop dot com and then look for ten to the end once you're there. Ten to the end is the name of the class. Okay, right. so what, what I will do is, and thank you, uh, Alexandra, for doing that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure to get all of these links and put them in the description of this particular video. Uh, it may not happen in the next three or four days, but at least you can go to the website, go to the source, and uh, I will put it up. So if uh, if you uh, don't go there, you at least will get it from us. But mainly, and also, if go you to need the source. Contact, yeah, if you have any questions directly, you could just contact us through Key to the Castle Workshop or you can send me a message at tmdunnauthor.com. Okay, everybody, right. make sure that you Lovely. are sharing this information with a friend uh, to help them out. If you got a friend that uh, has that book inside of them, you keep telling them to write a book. And everybody can write a book everybody. if you have a story. Everybody that has a story. Your mama, your daddy, everybody daddy, got a yes. book. Your yeah. grandmama, yeah. get a book. Get a, get a book out of them, and uh, you'll be surprised. Eric is sending much love. He's telling you, uh, you guys. So, uh, we see you, you Alex. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm going to do this for you, Alex. Get one button over here. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it a great deal. It was fun. <laughs> Thank you, uh, both of you Can't beautiful ladies, for getting you. me out of bed this morning, uh, <laughs> even though I went to bed super late editing stuff last night. I want you to know it is an honor to do this show with you in the morning. Uh, so uh, next time uh, you hear me with a frog voice, it'll be because of these ladies, unless I do something strange and just get up out of bed. But uh, I really enjoyed this today. So and uh, all the so prep work that I know you did to get to this point uh, with uh, not just equipment, but just uh, listening to me and show prep. And anybody that's ever done a show with me knows that I will talk for five or six 
20 hours to give you as much information before we ever do a show uh, so that you can have a brand on your own channel. We want to help as many people as possible here on NATV Network, uh, which is uh, uh, my daughter's uh, um, project, uh, R-E-M-G, uh, Rhythm Entertainment Media Group. Uh, we want to help authors. We want to help whoever you are to have a podcast show. So feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to work with you. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg, uh, but it will give you an opportunity uh, to be self-sufficient, uh, self-generated, and more importantly, you will be able to be self-sustained. Uh, it is a sustainable way in which you can get uh, your brand out there. These two beautiful ladies are a prime example of that and everyone else that you've seen here on NATV Network. Uh, we, Eric got another thing for you to we say. We love you, Paxton. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't, okay. don't start now. <laughs> People are going to know I'm a nice guy. I want them to think I'm mean. All right, so Eric right, is well, telling you hey, something said, here. Yeah, nice guy. Fantastic weekend. <laughs> Look at that. He's giving, man, he's got the week. He's going to be thinking about oh, you the whole weekend. Yeah. You two ladies got in his yeah. head. 10 Thank minutes you. a well, day. Well, Eric, take the class. You'll see more of us. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Or Every at least day. tell others to take the class. If you yeah. can't take it right now, maybe later on you can. Tell someone else to take mm -hmm. the class. Or and, give uh, to somebody. The holidays are coming up, right? There you go. There you go. So uh, they can go to the website and be able to do that. Right now, um, don't go anywhere, both of you. Okay. Okay. Um, I didn't make a bunch of graphics for this show today like I normally do, so I'm going to put something up. Just bear with me. I'm going to do some talking here. Don't go anywhere. And then I have a few questions to ask both of you. <laughs> I'm starting to wake up. <laughs> Zena, my sinuses. Uh, I'm going to ask a few things of you. Don't go anywhere. We're going to go off camera. Many of you know that when you watch this show, so feel free to skip this part if this is your first time passing through. Or you can sit through it because it might be entertaining. It might be entertaining for you to hang around. What we're going to do is, is uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions, ladies, that you had no idea I was going to ask you, and uh, we'll go from oh, there. No. Go. <laughs> I was going to say, oh. Alex is like, oh, my God. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm here we go. <laughs> Why did I say yes to that? What am I yes. doing here? Why am I still here? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and uh, here we go. You never know. This may turn into a commercial that I'll use later in somebody mm -hmm. else's show, depending on what your answers are. Uh, oh, no so, pressure. So here we go. First, first up is a question for Queen Alexandra. Are we? Okay, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, so Queen Alexandra, mm -hmm. when when you were 15, yes, from the age of 15 to 25, mm -hmm. name three words that would describe the type of person you were between the ages of 15 and 25. Name. Three, Three words. words. Outgoing. Sometimes depressed. Creative. So that was outgoing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes depressed. So that was more than that was more than one word. Um, because because you know what, transitioning from your teen years into your early twenties, transitioning into adulthood can be really really difficult and. You know, it was not it wasn't always easy, but then, but ultimately, um, I found my creativity, which was really my path to happiness in the end. What so many, uh, many, 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 many more than just three words? What helped you to find your creativity? Writing, storytelling, storytelling, really, um, and learning how to uh, learning how to tell stories. And I took classes and met lots of mentors, and it. I don't think it would be an exaggeration even to say that it saved my life. When you found that creativity, mm -hmm. was it because you were unlocking past traumas, telling the story of what was happening to you in the moment, or the way you saw the world and how you wanted to approach it? I didn't write about my traumas directly. I told stories that... Uh, explored those traumas and through that going right back to the beginning of the show it um, exploring it in that way in this sort of safe way under the guise of fiction was incredibly healing and uh, I didn't really write my own story like about myself until I wrote my memoir until then I was always exploring these experiences and the traumas and all that stuff as fiction hmm. 
as you as you look at your life right now, Pat's in your life right now. You know mm-hmm. Pat. As you look at your life from the age of 25 to now, in this very moment, what would you tell a young woman in her early stage of life, from the ages of 15 to 25, what advice would you give now that you're looking at your life from 25 till now? Mm-hmm. What would you tell her so that she keeps her chin up and keeps moving forward? I I would say, and like, I would want them to just let this sink in deeply. It is okay to be exactly who you are. You are beautiful and amazing and you, you get to be that person inside and outside. When it comes to you, Pat, okay. Lady Dunn, thank you, Queen Alexandra, for that. that. Was, yeah, I know. She, it's going to be hard to follow that. Okay, go ahead. Well, I'm just curious to mm-hmm. ask you. Yeah. You you have creativity that maybe sometimes people don't understand. Mm-hmm. You have yeah. things that you find interesting and intriguing that maybe people don't understand. Mm -hmm. But what is there about you that you could say right now that people can understand about you? What is there about you that people need to know that they would appreciate and understand? I really give a shit. I care if I tell and I and I'm I'm honest. I would never tell anybody about I I am I I would being cruel or negative uh, does not help anyone. But being giving people like honest feedback if they want it that's going to help them be who they are be what they want do what they want with their work i think that's probably the biggest thing for me and i'm a storyteller so um um, i'm honest but i'm also a bit of a exaggerator in my stories because i will tell a story and change it slightly if it's depending on the audience so i guess the other thing is yes yes We lost her there for a moment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, It's her mic. I see her talking right now. Pat, Pat. if you can hear me. Hang on. Hang on. So everybody hold tight for a second. Pat, if you can hear me for a moment, something happened there on your mic in and we lost you for a moment. Fortunately, they're right there by each other. 